I had to make sure I didn't have any donut on my face. I probably should have did that before I hit record. I'm really stressed out and like pissed off and upset this morning. I am. Um, ow. So I decided to sit down and do a little like de-stressing crafting with like the insane amount of stick-on rainbow gems that Epps got me a couple weeks ago. And I didn't know what to do with them. Well, I finally figured out what I was going to do. I decided to bedazzle my birth control. I feel like it's stressing me out more than it's helping me de-stress. To be honest, I haven't gotten that far into it and I think I give up already. It's like sticky, you know? Like, it's like sticky. I did not expect the gems. When you put them down, they don't move. Like, I thought that maybe I could put them down, like push them around a little bit. Absolutely fucking not. Like, when they're down, they're down. And that shit is stressful. That's stressful. And then it's like, it's like the pack is like sticky now, you know? Because it's got like, it's sticky. I don't know how else to describe. Like you put, like you, like you put them on, and it's it's sticky around the edges. It will absolutely be disgusting very quick. <laughs> oh well, I tried. I tried. The gems keep getting hair stuck in them. This shit is stressing me out. Why did I think this was a good idea? And when he just said, you know. Just so you're aware, it's your hair. And I think you fucking know because she's side-eyeing me. I thought about ordering like a cute case. Oh my God, it's so like, there's so much lint in fucking hair. And this thing has existed. It's existed bedazzled for probably 20 minutes. And it's already that fucking gross. My birth control gets thrown around, especially in my purse, so much that I lose it constantly. But maybe it being like spark, sparkly, shiny, and hairy, and fuzzy, unintentionally, will help me keep track of it, you know, a little bit. But I've also thought about ordering like a cute, like, birth control case off of Amazon because they have them. Oh my god, the fucking hair. Where did it come from? That keeps sticking on me on it. But they have like really cute birth control cases on Amazon. I thought about getting one at some point. Um, because this is what they, this is literally what they give me my birth control in. Like, when I was a teenager and I took birth control, why can I not fucking talk? When can I not speak? And I know what you're thinking. Shay. It's no different than any other day. When I was a kid, though, and I took birth control, it came in, like, a little, like, it wasn't even that little round pack that was, like, sizable, you know? Like, like way bigger than this so that I could keep track of it. And also, it, like, had a little dial on it, and it was all fancy, you know? This is not fancy at all. It's basically, like, good luck, bitch. I know what the adult iPad kid is going to get into my comments and say. I know it. I know it already. It's different brand. My fucking eyelashes on this side are <laughs> glued up. Where I wore. Where I wore. Where I wore. Three words. One of them is one letter. Where I wore fucking falsies yesterday my eyelashes are like glued up and the other ones are i look ridiculous oh my god you know what i look like i look like one of those baby dolls at the thrift store that like was was exceptionally loved like you know like whoever had them plucked all the eyelashes out of one of the eyes and just left all the other ones like one of those baby dolls that you throw them back and their eyes closed that's what i look like oh my god Listen, I try, I put mascara on this other eye and it just cannot compete. It cannot compete. My eye is literally like glued open. I also didn't check my wig. I literally just brushed it out and threw it on and I low key am kind of hoping sitting on the floor in front of my couch is gonna help my back. My back hurts so fucking bad. It hurts so bad. It feels like somebody's taking like a little tiny knife and jabbing it into my lower back and just kind of stirring it around. 
vigorously, like they hate me and they and they want to do everything that they can to cause the most damage. Yeah, that's what it feels like right now. I have to have some caffeine because I'm not going to fucking make it if I don't. It's two. Eps, just hold on. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I started drinking and trying to film at the same time. It's two though, and I got lost on TikTok for a little while. And my grandma gave me this yesterday. I swear to God, the woman just buys things so that when her grandchildren come over, she can give it to them. She gave me this, White Diamonds, Elizabeth Taylor. I love it so much, you guys. I love it. I do. I can't get over my eye. You know what? <laughs> I don't barely have any eyelashes, so I'm like afraid to like do anything about it. I think my grandma just buys things to give away and I love this I do I love it because it makes me think of her she's like do you want that I don't really wear perfume anymore and I was like oh yeah I literally grabbed my entire tub of makeup that I use the most and I have to make a mental note I need to rebuy this is all that's left in here I'm so proud of myself for using almost an entire lip thingy and not losing it I'm obsessed with this stuff though because I feel like when I don't use it my lips get disgusting and that's just because they do also if you can hear my cats like water bowl, they have like a little water fall thingy that they drink out of and it's like super loud whenever you need to put more water in it and I just checked it and it's only like slightly low it's just being obnoxious anyways um I wanted to talk about some stuff the stuff that was pissing me off. I actually went to bed last night in a bad mood, <laughs> which I don't really like to do. So, 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 pretty much everything that D wants for Christmas, I have to get it on eBay because he gets into these like really old things. That's the only way that I can describe it is he gets into old shit um, that is like hard to find. Like he loves Club Penguin. And the only place that I can find like puffles and shit is eBay. So I sat down last night and you can shop on eBay through the Afterpay app. So I was like, you know what? I need to do that because uh, next week is the last week of November. I need to do this to make sure that he gets his shit on time, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't know if you've ever like tried to sign into an eBay account, but it's it's an asshole. It's an asshole. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. It just doesn't simply let you fucking sign in. Okay? And the thing is, like, my eBay account is through my uh, Gmail. It got so, like, I don't even know that I ended up having to change my fucking password for my Gmail account. Ultimately, to be told by the Afterpay app maybe even eBay, or maybe it was a combination of both, that Gmail would not allow me to access eBay through the Afterpay app because it didn't view it as secure enough or some shit I can't even remember. I about fucking lost my mind. I literally, like, started crying because I was like, what am I going to do? So I get on the regular eBay app and I just start, you know, calculating up. I, I add some puffles and stuff to my cart and it comes out to like 60 some dollars. I'm like, that's not bad. I think I can do that without having to afterpay. That's not, that's not too bad. You know, I can do that all at once. So right before I go to check out, I'm like, hey, Epps, would you do me a favor really quick? Like before I go in here and I spend this money, could you check the bank account? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Epps and I paid our water bill two weeks ago. We paid our water bill two weeks ago on the day that it was due. We went down to the water department and swiped a card. It was paid, right? So tell me why they just took the money for it out yesterday. Tell me why they waited two weeks to take the money out for our water bill. Tell me why we had been sitting around for like a day and a half thinking, wow, we're doing so much better than we thought we were. Yeah, because the fucking water company hadn't taken the goddamn fucking water bill out yet. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> why did they do that? 
Why did they do that? Why did they do that? You know, why did they do that? Because like, sometimes, you know, whenever I pay bills, especially when I pay my credit card bills and stuff, sometimes it takes like a couple of days for the, you know, the, the payment to process. And that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Why did it take two weeks? Why did it take two weeks? Huh? Why did it take two weeks? That shit should be illegal. Not only that, but like, I didn't think that payments like that could process on a holiday. In the US, Thanksgiving is like, it's a bank holiday. Not shit is open. What, what do you mean? so happy. Life's so good. I swear, and I know I'm not alone in this, anytime that things in my life are easy, anytime things in my life are good, I become suspicious. I become fucking suspicious. Um, I become afraid to be comfortable. Um, I literally, for days, for days kept feeling like something was off something's off something's off you're forgetting something you're forgetting something you're forget like i kept being like why do i feel like i like left my fucking wallet in in uh in a shopping cart at the grocery store and i didn't realize it until halfway home like something just feels off i'm wondering if that was it because after we found that out that feeling went away. I am just terrified always of being happy, of feeling comfortable. Anytime things are good in my life, I'm like, something's gonna happen because this isn't gonna last very long. Life is a series of good and bad, and I get that, but I like ruin the good for me. I ruin the good for me by mentally preparing for the bad all the time. What pisses me off though, what pisses me off, though, is like we did what we were supposed to do. I did what I was supposed to do. I paid my bill the day I was supposed to. Oh, my God, that all rhymed. Unintentional. And I still got fucked over. I still got fucked over like I didn't. And the thing is, where we live, <laughs> where we live, we don't get monthly water bills we get like, what is it, quarterly water bills every three months. So we don't get to be like everybody else with their little $60, $70 water bills or little $100 water bill. No, ours is always hundreds of dollars because it's at least three months of water usage. <laughs> the good thing is, the good thing is, and yeah, I can't believe I'm about to say there's a good thing, but the good thing is uh, we still have enough to um, pay our car payment. Thank God we still have enough to pay our car payment. And the boys are in New York with their dad. It's E's dad, but D also calls him dad uh, until Monday, Monday evening. So we only have me and Epps and the doggies and kitties who already have everything that they need to worry about for the next couple of days. So that is pretty much the seething grease. Let's set the scene. It's 1988 and two teenagers, despite the fact that they already had a baby underage, decided let's have unprotected sex. And then they got pregnant with me. And then they kept me. And now I have to suffer. Even though I didn't choose to be here. <laughs> I love being a human and being alive. Sometimes I hate these glasses and sometimes I like them. Today I kind of think I like them a little bit. Mostly because they're the only ones that I can find. Mm -hmm. Guys, I need to mother you for a minute because there's this trend on TikTok. And I'm kind of a hypocrite for this. But you know what? I am a mother. I am going to mother you. And to some extent, all moms are hypocrites. It's because we want better for our children. Do as I say, not as I do. Let's forget the fact that I excessively reuse eyelashes. Let's forget the fact that I use a four-year-old redacted palette. Let's forget all that. Let's forget all of that. Let's forget that a lot of my lip products could probably be used to make a vaccine. Let's forget all of that. There is this trend right now on TikTok. <sighs> <sighs> it's where people are showing their dirty makeup 
And I always thought that I was a dirty makeup girl because you know what? If a powder, if a blush, if a bronzer, if an eyeshadow bust in my makeup box, then my shit is just covered with dust until it naturally like dissipates. Let's not talk about the fact that the other day I couldn't find my mascara for like several days and I used a like one and a half year old mascara. Let's not talk about that, okay? Let's not talk about the fact that I just put, you know, contact solution in my mascara because I didn't close it tightly. We're forgetting all of that. And here I'm going to be a hypocrite. There is a trend on TikTok where people are showing their dirty makeup. Guys, there are limits. Even for me, there are limits. Guys, if your eyeshadow starts growing something on it, throw it away. Throw it away. Okay, honey, throw it away. Um, it doesn't matter how much you spent on it. It doesn't matter that it's limited edition. It doesn't matter that it's hard to find. If it starts growing mold or something in it, please throw it away. Please throw it away. You are not immune to staph infection. If your lip products start smelling weird or looking weird or have a weird consistency or a weird texture, please throw them away. If you're using something like a concealer or a foundation and it is in a glass bottle and that bottle breaks, throw it away. Please throw it away. It doesn't matter how much you spent on it. Doesn't matter that it's your favorite. Please throw it away. There are so many infections that you can get and staph infection is one of them and it can be deadly. Throw it away. Throw it away. Throw it away. Uh, we all use expired eyeshadow. We all use expired lippies. We all use makeup that is well beyond its shelf life and open life. We all do it, but there are limits. When it starts smelling funky, looking funky, and you're scraping shit off of it, and not only that, the formula is not the same. Once it's reached that point, if, if you're if your concealer busts and it is in a, a glass package and you can't do anything about it, the formula is not going to be the same when it's constantly exposed to the air. Throw it away. It's material. It can be replaced even if it takes a while. Your health cannot, okay? Throw it away. Please. Please. Okay, that's it. That's all I had to say. That was me having, that was my openly being a hypocrite moment. <laughs> guys listen i know i have a lot of followers that are not yes that's a corn dog i know i have a lot of followers that are not in the u.s but today right now in the u.s it's the day after thanksgiving which means that it's black friday and i gotta tell you black friday ain't quite what it used to be and i honestly think there are better sales in december but anyways today is the day that everybody shops well not everybody anymore because like i said it's not what it used to be but a lot of people shop because sometimes there's good sales, even though the sales are not what they used to be. All fucking day. All fucking day. I've been getting text messages. Hurry! 40% off! Ending at 5pm or whatever, I don't fucking know. All day. All day. Forest Inc. Kill Star. Dolls Kill. Forever 21. Wicked Clothes. Black Craft. All day. Bitch, you gotta let up because I will start doing girl math. And in here, girl math, you know what girl math is to me? Oh, $100? Oh, I'm gonna afterpay it. So I don't have to put any money down because I use afterpay excessively. So they trust me to spend up to $400 without a down payment. But then it's only gonna be $25 because it's for payment. That's my fucking girl math. They need to shut the hell up because they're tempting me and I know that I can't. Okay? Anyway, 